Deja vu for the Teller County Sheriff's Office sued for a second time by the ACLU over its dealings with federal immigration officers. News High's Colette Bordelon was at the Sheriff's press conference today where he wanted to set the record straight, Colette. Sheriff Jason Mikesell said he specifically wanted to talk about claims in the lawsuit that Teller County tax dollars are being used to pay for the training of his deputies. He also addressed the first suit, which he says they won because they agreed to settle with the ACLU. In Teller County. I will continue to partner with ICE. The sheriff says it's no secret. You commit a crime in this county, I will know your name, and yes, you will be turned over to the federal authorities. The ACLU recently filed another lawsuit against the sheriff's office, claiming they're illegally holding inmates at the request of federal immigration authorities or ICE. Now, did the governor pass a new law that says I can't do that right now? He absolutely did, but at what cost to the citizens of Colorado? So, using what's called a federal 287G program, he says he can get around the state law and will send three deputies to Georgia to gain the federal authority to hold people. As for the question about cost to taxpayers in Teller County. This program is paid for by ICE. It's definitely a legitimate use of government money. Dwayne Garman, who lives in the county, says illegal immigration is a problem and he supports what the sheriff is doing. The ACLU is definitely on the edge of abusing their privilege. But one of the plaintiffs in the case disagrees. We need a fair and humane immigration system, not the broken one we have today. Michael Stewart is one of six people suing along with the ACLU for a few reasons. What they're doing with A, taxpayer money, and B, how they're treating other human beings. All humans are created equal. Ultimately, the decision lies with the courts. The suit states the sheriff is violating both the Colorado Constitution and the new statute from the governor. Nonetheless, deputies will begin their training in August. A copy of the full lawsuit can be found on KOA.com, and we will, of course, follow this case through the courts and bring you updates moving forward. Always watching out for you, Teller County, Colette Bordelon, News 5.